What's up guys, it's Roman here from Ironbox Official, and today I'm going to bring you an unboxing of the Samsung Galaxy S3. Uh, first thing I want to say thank you to one of my friends, Lazy Fancy Pants. He has a YouTube channel, and you can check it out by clicking one of the annotations on the screen right now. He does like Minecraft commentaries and gaming com commentaries in general, so uh, check him out. So let's get started. So as you can see, first thing you get is a big blue box. Uh, let's take the cover off, and the box in general is fully blue, just completely blank, doesn't say anything. Um, this was the 16 gigabyte Pebble Blue version, and let's get into it. So when you open the box, first thing you get is the phone itself, and uh, let's take it out. And it comes in kind of a container, not a container, but a little thing holding the phone. I believe it's cardboard, it, l it looks black to me. And uh, underneath that, you got a black little cardboard flip, uh, which flips out, and uh, you get the manual. And uh, as you can see, it's the SGH-T999V, and it's the Win Mobile or the T-Mobile version of uh, the Samsung Galaxy S3. It runs on the AWS 1700 network, and uh, it com it's a 2 gigabyte RAM along with 1.6 gigahertz dual core S4 processor, I believe. If I'm wrong, you can check me in the uh, tell me in the comments. Um, next thing you get is the headphone jack. Um, not the headphone jack, the headphones itself, and they're in white. You also get the replacement earbuds, just in case you get like earwax on your other headphones or something. And now you just change them. You also get the charger, and it's fully black. I believe it's uh, half a meter long or 30 centimeters. And the last thing you get is the wall charger. It's fully black, and if you know Samsung products, the wall chargers are usually a little long. And uh, you just plug it into the wall, and it just has a bunch of writing on it. And on the side, you got the USB port, and you, all you do is plug it in, and... Uh, Flip the other way, plug it in, and bam, you can charge your phone like that straight from the wall. So let's put that aside, and nothing else in the box. The box is just black in the inside and blue on the outside. Uh, feels like cardboard, and uh, that is pretty much it. Let's just fold, put all the things back in the box, close the box, and put the other thing on it. So let's just look at all the components you get. So you get the S3, the manual, the ear, the replacement earbuds, along with the earphones, the wall, wall charger, and the um, charger itself. So let's get into the phone. So the phone is the Pebble Blue 16 gigabyte version, and let me tell you, it looks a lot better in person than it does online. It looks like a kind of a dark blue, so it's black in real life. Has a massive 4.7 inch screen, not as big as the Galaxy Note, but it's still pretty big. Um, but it's better for, uh, I guess, internet using and browser, and a better phone in general. It's the bigger screen equals a better phone. Um, it'll be easier to use. So this is Super AMOLED HD screen, and it should show pictures. Very, very stunning and very nice pictures. Um, so at the side, you got the power says lock button. On the other side, you got the two volume rockers. And if you click them, they make clicking sounds. So up, down. At the top, you got the headphone jack. And you also got, I believe, which looks like a thing for the battery door at the back. You can pull on that, and the battery door comes out. At the bottom of the device, you got the charging port. And that is all, along with the microphone. You also, on the back of the device, you have the speaker grill along with the LED flash and the 8 megapixel camera uh, which shoots in 1080p video which is very good um, at the front you got the 720p front facing camera which is 1.6 megapi uh, megapixels uh, and uh, you also got the two light sensors along with the LED inner gator light which tells you if any messages or whatnot. at the bottom you got the big home button and you also have capacitive buttons when the phone turns on itself so uh... Overall, the phone looks very nice, and let's turn it on. So, once we turn it on, it's a Samsung Galaxy S3. 
It has a little nice intro, all leading to a Samsung logo. Um, and once it loads, you have a little blue light splashing at the top. But the back has a, it's not fingerprint resistant, so it attracts a lot of fingerprints. Um, as you can see, the capacitive button's at the bottom. It says swipe your phone to across the screen to unlock. Okay. Your, so this is running the TouchWiz interface uh, on Ice Cream Sandwich. It's going to be upgraded to Jelly Bean soon, but this phone is inspired by nature and has a great effect when you like click it and it has a bunch of sounds all according to nature. So uh, if you unlock it, the phone ripples. And overall, this phone is very great. I uh, definitely recommend it. And uh, if you guys enjoyed this unboxing, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.